Hey, what's up Blender users, I'm Jonathan. And you might have noticed that over the past few weeks I've been testing around with photogrammetry a lot. For this kind of extensive testing I needed a lot of datasets to play around with. And because I'm lazy and didn't want to get out for myself to take videos or pictures, I searched for a different solution. So, regarding this video's topic I will show you how I frequently steal geometry. The process is actually really simple. We just need to scout the web for videos like you would do for image textures. An example for this are websites like textures.com or Ambient CG who offer countless amounts of textures. But these textures cannot really be used for photogrammetry, so we need to find videos. Sadly, there aren't any websites specialized on this, so we need to filter through many videos that just aren't optimized for photogrammetry. These include for example persons or other animals or just non-existent camera movements. So let me show you how I find and use these kind of videos. Personally, I often start on websites like pexels.com. Pexels is a stock video and photo website that only includes the CC0 license. So we can then search for videos which we can use for photogrammetry. In this video I wanted to try to find a hallway for which I then could build a model. So let's search for hallway and let's now see if we can find a fitting video. You can see that most of these videos have persons in them, so we need to find a video that doesn't include persons and also doesn't include for example glass or just walls that don't have any textures to them. And you can see that this here is a video which we could use. You can see that the camera walks straight through this hallway and we should have enough details and textures on the walls for a photogrammetry program to reconstruct any geometry. So let's download this video and start processing it. To process it we want to, as always, create an image sequence from this mp4 file. So let's add it to Blender. Under color management, change the view transform to standard. Set fitting start and end frames. And I like to export it as JPEG because it just doesn't take that much space. And after you've set an output path, you can go up to render and click on render animation to export your image sequence. With the image sequence exported, we can now open our favorite program for photogrammetry. There are many options, for example Reality Capture, Metashape or Meshroom. And because of the last video I still have Metashape installed, so I will use this one. Alright, with Metashape open we can go up to Workflow and click on Add Folder. And now we can just add all of the photos. Great. And now we are basically at a stage where everything continues as normal. If you would have taken your own photos, you would also end up right here and just continue with the workflow. And so just for this video I'll just quickly create a model. So let's click on Align Photos. And with a simple point cloud created I will now just build the mesh and after that build the texture. You can then export your model and load it into Blender. And there we have it. This is the model that was created using a video we found on the internet. You can see that it isn't perfect because the camera movement wasn't intended for photogrammetry. But you can see that for basic testing purposes, we can use videos from the internet. And yeah, this is everything I wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully this video was of some interest for you. If it was, consider liking and subscribing. And we'll see each other in the next video next Saturday.